Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel, Adventures of Science. Today we are gonna be talking about fossil hunting. I have a whole bunch of fossils below me, so that's why I'm looking down. My fossils in. Oh, this is a pretty big box. Um, I went fossil hunting in Florida twice, actually, with fossil fanatics. So definitely check them out on social media. I think he has an Instagram and Facebook page, but definitely recommend Patrick. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some of the cool fossils that I was able to find. When we first arrived, Patrick gave us one of these. A postcard, um, it kind of has a good idea about what the different fossils are in the area that you can find. And this was key. He actually had a couple of different examples too in front of him. When you have a huge pile of gravel in front of you, like I'll explain later, it's really hard to find certain things or things won't pop out essentially like you think they will. Um, but this definitely helped because it trains your eye again to see those shapes and those different things. So for example, an alligator tooth looks like an ice cream cone. And I was able to find one, so it was super helpful. And hopefully that helps you guys out a little bit as well. Patrick provides you with different tools and snacks as well. So we got a shovel, we got a golf club, I think it's called a poker. I'll have to ask Patrick what the proper terminology is. Um, but a poker, it's like a golf club with a club part on it. And you use that kind of to poke around in the sand. And when you hear the crunch of the gravel underneath, that's when you pick gold and you want to start digging. Uh, he also provides you with a sifter. And so that's just a wire mesh, I assume. Um, you can actually build your own, which I might do in the future. <laughs> Stay tuned. Um, and it has a wooden frame and lots of floating devices on it. So that thing's floating beside you. It is tied. Um, it has a string. I tied it to myself and I tied everything to myself so it doesn't float down the street. But you have your sifter and you have your poker stick and your shovel. So you're poking around looking for that sweet gravel spot and as soon as you hear it you can start digging. So you have that shovel, you dig maybe two scoopfuls into your sifter and then you give it a good shake and with that water you kind of push all the sand to the side and you're left with a whole bunch of gravel. And that's when the fun starts. So shark teeth. Number one, everyone wants to find shark teeth when they go fossil hunting. They're there. <laughs> I went to Peace River for fossil hunting and I probably found over 200. But lots and lots of shark teeth of every different shape and color, so very cool. Um, secondly, we had a lot of turtle scoots, so that was a really cool find. We also found, I found a fishing lure. I really like the shape of it and the look of it, so I kept it and it's with my fossil collection. Same with a marble that I found. Well, don't worry, Mom. I was wearing shoes. You wear shoes when you're in this river. We found dugong rib bones as well. Big rib bone section. We're an ancient mammal. Ooh. Here are more rib bone sections. Huge, huge sections of bone, which is very exciting stuff. Also found an ancient sea dollar. Sand dollar. Not a sea dollar. Sand dollar. Um, but it is a fossilized one. My favorite part, I think I had planned on finding one from the very start, which is high hopes, but I wanted to find a megalodon tooth. So in my head I pictured finding a giant megalodon tooth, and I'm able to say that I did find fragments. <laughs> um, a full large tooth is harder to find, but you can still come across them. Next on the bucket list is to scuba dive in Venice Beach, Florida, um, where they do have kind of bigger teeth. But I did find these two fragments. This one actually is a lot more sharp and serrated still. Megalodon fragment. This is the first one that I found on the first expedition. And this is the second one. It has a larger root system on it, which is super cool. And together they kind of make a full tooth. <laughs> I know some can get like six inches long, which is crazy, but I'm very, very happy with the ones that I found because I found them. So that's kind of the whole point. Being able to get out in nature and find things that make you excited about science and about nature and exploring is amazing. Someone could do this who is five years old, someone who could do it is 85. Um, it's really cool and even if you just ask Patrick or ask um, an area to give you a pile of rocks and you can just sit at your table at home and just sift through them, it's so exciting to find your own treasures essentially. So I hope by showing you guys all this, it gets you excited about science, it gets me excited about science, and I hope it inspires you to go out there and find your own adventure. Um, and I'm definitely going to be back. <laughs> I'm a fossil hunter for life. 